Okay, we're here today with our 2018 Model 3. It has the ultrasonic sensors. And then we just took delivery of our Model Y. It's a 2023 and it has Tesla Vision. And we're going to test them out today and decide which one is more accurate and see if the Tesla Vision is going to be good enough for the future Teslas. All right, so we're in a parking lot and we're gonna test out the comparison between the ultrasonic sensors and Tesla Vision. We have a couple different setups that we're gonna do. We have our yardstick down here. We're gonna test it against the hedge as well as with a curb um, with no hedge. And then also later on, we're gonna test it against the wall. Those are probably the three main setups. We got our first measurement. Now we're going to advance to the second measurement, which I want to have be about two feet. Right there. So now we're going to advance to about a foot. And oh, just tell me to stop right at 12 inches in the car. So Vision is definitely having some issues here. Well, now I'm getting 18. So I'll give it 18 instead of, I, I had 15 a minute ago. Now we're gonna move up and see when it tells us to stop and take a measurement there. All right, right there. So it, it told me to stop, so it should be 12 inches. Okay, so we're getting a stop and Nina just measured it at 23 inches. And yep, it's showing us 12 inches stop. 23 inches, you said? Yes, okay. so you can actually keep going. Stop, and we're gonna keep going to see what happens. It's probably just gonna continue to say stop. Now it started beeping at me. Okay. I think that's I all mean, I'm gonna get. I mean, that would be adequate parking space. I can take a picture of that. Okay. To me, that's like how you should park. So this is our first beep. All right, we have switched to the first run, driving forwards with the curb, no hedge. Okay, we got 29. All right, so we had 29, and that actually measured 27. Now we'll move up. So it was at 22, and that came up to 19 and a half. I'm going to move up a little bit more. So now the issue that we run into is we're showing 17 inches in the curb and I just lost it. And so if I were to keep going, I'd hit the curb. It's picking up something else now. So that is the downfall of the ultrasonic sensors. You get too close to a curb if there's nothing behind the curb and um, it just starts picking up other objects and you have no idea where the curb is when you're moving forwards. Forwards, curb only. We're getting into park assist mode here. I'm starting to see yellow. Okay. All right, so that was measuring 32 and I got 53. It actually went away. We'll see where it comes back at. We'll take it down to about 24. Okay. Okay, so we're kind of bouncing around between 22 and 24. And it reading came in at 36 inches actual. So now we'll take it into a stop. And I got my stop.
backing up, testing, backing towards the curb with the hedge. So here's our first run at that. Looks like it's starting to pick it up, but no measurement yet. There we go, we got a measurement. All right, so we've confirmed that as we close in here on this curb with a hedge that um, it's measuring the hedge with, with the ultrasonic sensors. It's fairly accurate there, but obviously it's a shorter distance to the curb, so it'll be interesting to see if vision um, gives us a true measurement to the curb versus the hedge in this instance. In reverse towards the curb with a hedge, Okay, I'm getting a reading of 3031. Okay, so we have a reading of 31, which worked out to 45. Now we'll go back a little bit further. Okay, that's right at two feet, 24 inches, 20. Okay, that fluctuated quite a bit, all the way from about 24 down to 20. Now we're going to back up. It's about to stop. See, it's barely picking up the curb there. It's kind of flashing on and off at about 31. And we're actually only 24 and a half inches away. We just took a measurement. And now we're gonna back up more and we're gonna get closer. And the ultrasonic sensors are not gonna be able to see that curb anymore. So that is one of the downsides of the ultrasonic sensors. Okay, so now we're in reverse curb, no hedge. Run number one with vision. So here you can see just how much vision is struggling because it's showing 26 and you can see that's a yardstick. We're not even close to it. So we're at 62 inches away. So it's even with that camera right on the tailgate, it is it is struggling pretty, pretty bad. Oh, I got to stop. I wonder, I wonder if it's doing it to the yard stick. Yeah, okay, let's, let's get rid of the yard stick. Okay, we are gonna retry without the yard stick because it almost seemed to make me stop right on the yard stick. So just to make sure that wasn't throwing things off, we took it out of the way and are gonna reattempt trial number one here. Okay. So actually we verified the art stick does not matter because we had the same measurement and got the same actual measurement of 62. So it was consistently wrong. All right, we're gonna go back to about two feet. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so kind of bouncing around, I went ahead and put down 24 on vision. It came out to 46 inches actual. And now we're gonna move ahead to the stop. Okay, I got my stop. All right, so that 12 inch stop came out to 19 inches. And here we are driving up to a wall. We've got the uh, garage here and this is where I expect the ultrasonic sensors to perform the best so it'll be interesting to see how we do here along with vision.
Now that we've completed our comparison, let's talk through a summary of the results. The ultrasonic sensors performed well in the areas that we expected them to perform at a further distance away from the curb and well against the wall. Single digit percent errors. Now, it didn't do as well once the ultrasonic sensors, uh, since they sit higher than the curb, got within two feet of the curb. So forwards with the curb, ultrasonic sensors had 16% error and vision had 43% error. In reverse, ultrasonic sensors had 20% error and vision had 42% error. Moving forward with the curb and the hedge, ultrasonic sensors had 22% error, where vision had 52% error. And in reverse with the curb with the hedge, ultrasonic sensors had 22% error, vision with 32% error. And lastly, with the wall moving forward, ultrasonic sensors, as expected, performed the best with only 3% error, while vision really struggled with 61% error. And in reverse, with the wall, ultrasonic sensors had 4% error and vision had 32% error. And I think this really goes to show that it's not just the blind spot in front of the car because we saw on several occasions and several setups that the vision struggled even with the camera on the tailgate. And so I do look forward to seeing the software enhancements that uh, Tesla makes. Um, I, I do think they'll get better. And potentially, I think there's even an opportunity to get better than ultrasonic sensors uh, once they really dial it in, in that under two feet distance. I'm going to continue to stay close to this as Tesla rolls out future software updates for Vision and will run some additional tests in the future, and hopefully they get this dialed in. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and consider giving us a like and subscribe.